everybody welcome to my channel and as you can tell by the title obviously that's why you clicked on the video i am going to be doing a review on the lullabelle's hair extensions this is not like an unboxing or a first impressions like i have got them out of the packaging and i've worn them once i went out in the evening for a meal and i wore them because i wanted to test them out before i did this video so you know i can tell you sort of if I found them any good. And I just realised you can see my sports bra through my jump hole. What is... Oh well. Extensions I got with these. I have... I put them back in the package and they came in. Because, well, I just like to keep them in there because it keeps them safe. They're 26 inches. The colour is California Blonde. They were the super thick 26 inches, 5 piece, waist length, wave, clip in hair extensions. I'm sorry I had to read it off there, there was no way I was remembering that. And I've just realised that <laughs> the case is split. Oh, okay. So yes, they come in here. Um, you have to, once you've sort of undone, there's a sticker. If you undo the sticker, then you can't return them, obviously for hygiene reasons. So just bear that in mind that sometimes it's best to get a um, colour match, which they do offer. Or just be aware that, you know, you can't return them. They look a lot more frizzy um, than they did when I initially bought them. Especially some parts of it. Um, I didn't straighten them. I didn't put any heat on them. Literally clipped them in. Good to go. I didn't wear all of them either. I think I only ended up... I wore the... Um, I think I wore four pieces. You get two two-clipped wefts. You get a three clip weft, a four clip weft, and a five clip weft. I'm pretty sure it was the five clip weft that I didn't wear. And I loved the style they came in, although I would say that I've brushed them. Um, I brushed them when I put them in, I combed them through with a wide tooth comb. And then I went out and I came back, took them out, and I brushed them again. I tried to brush them with the wide tooth comb, but they just had got... I mean, I didn't do much. I just sort of got in a car, drove to the restaurant, ate at the restaurant, drove back. Um, but hair gets knotty. Um, so they did get quite knotty. Probably, I noticed they got knottier than, than the extensions I would normally wear. So I had to go through them with an actual sort of hairbrush instead of a comb because the comb just wasn't getting the knots out. So this is what they look like out of the packaging. As you can see, this one is the one that I didn't wear. You can kind of tell the difference. So the price for these were £35, which is like, in, like it's, that's very, 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 very reasonable um, for synthetic hair extensions. Um, so realistically, you can't really complain. So these are the two clip wefts. Um, but yeah, they don't look... They don't look too bad. They're just a bit more frizzier or like puffier, I guess. But I mean, you can style them. I can't remember the heat you can style that, like the highest heat you can style them on. This is the three clip weft. A um, bit frizzy. Oop. Four clip weft. That's still quite, I feel like that doesn't actually look that bad at the back. Um, but yeah, five clip weft. Maybe it was the four clip weft I didn't wear actually. Yeah, it must have been because yeah, this is definitely rather frizzy. Realistically, I don't think I'd get many, like I wouldn't, they're not gonna last a very long time, realistically. But one thing I did notice too is um, when I came home and brushed it through, so much hair came out um, and they were knotted but they weren't like it wasn't ridiculously knotted but the, like I actually took a picture and filmed it and that's expected anyway especially with synthetic hair um, but I have bought extensions synthetic hair extensions elsewhere for around the roughly the same price point and I've never known the hair to sort of fall out as much as it did with these ones. Considering the price, you can't really complain. I clipped them in once, just, I clipped one in once to check um, 
if it would sort of match my hair. So I put this in, this was one that I didn't like style it or anything, I literally clipped it in just to see how it would match with my hair. Um, and then took it back out, put it back in the packaging, went to go out that night and put them in and I noticed that the clip had broken so whether it was already broken before just initially when they arrived or whether I broke it when I put it in but I mean either way it's broken and all I literally all I did was clip it in and take it back out um but yeah it's just come apart so I would bear that in mind they do come with two extra clips if you want to pop them in and replace them which is good obviously that just that does come in handy the day-to-day -day wear I'm not going to wear them because they won't last me long at all but if I'm going out and I just for a few hours then I would put them in or I'd use them to film videos like you'll probably see that I'll have extensions in nine times out of ten when I do videos um but for day-to-day -day wear no and they're definitely I mean the, it's just I don't know like I've, I, as I said, I've had, um, I've bought extensions, synthetic hair extensions from Easy Locks before, and that was my go-to place for synthetic hair extensions. And these were thirty-five pounds, which I will say you get more for the like you get more in these. Um, and I think my Easy Locks ones were fifty pounds, and you get two wefts, which I know is kind of nowhere near as much as this but they could last, they can last me up to a year. I've had them for a year before, whereas these, I just don't see them lasting me as long, but they're good to just have fun with every now and then. Personally, I wouldn't buy, especially not those ones, I wouldn't buy those again, but I do want to try the ponytails. They have ponytails because I feel like it's probably easier to take, to take care of. It might not get knotted as much. If you would like to see that, I'm more than happy to test out a few of the ponytails and do a video on that because just to see if there's a difference. So I would buy from the store again. I just, I don't think I'd buy a full head of hair extensions. But for the price, who can re who can re complain really? If you've had Lullabelle's extensions before or any other synthetic hair extension companies, do let me know because I'm always on the lookout for a good pair of extensions. I might have had a completely different experience with the Lullabelle's extensions than other people, so do let me know how you got on with them. And I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.